Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. I am a 36 year old attorney living in the DC area. And I like to film a variety of beauty content on my channel, including hauls, reviews, unboxings, uh, swatching videos, subscription box content, of course, and lots of other fun things. So if that sounds good to you, please make sure to subscribe before you go. Uh, but today is very exciting because I'm finally going to be filming my uh, spring 2022 FabFitFun unboxing. Uh, so you may have seen, uh, I do some like what will I choose videos. So I have two different videos uh, covering all the different categories. Uh, and then I also filmed a screen capture of the spring 2022 add-ons. Uh, I think as I am filming this, they currently have like a skincare edit sale going on. So you may want to check that out if you haven't already. But if you aren't familiar with what FabFitFun is, it is a lifestyle seasonal subscription box. So you get one every season. And if you are a seasonal subscriber, you pay, I think it's now $55, give or take a quarter. Uh, if you are a annual member you pay in advance and I think it's about $50 a quarter that you pay all at once. So they always come out with a fun different theme for each season uh, in terms of the box and everything. And recently they started to vary the size of the box I think according to what you got. Uh, so I think this is actually one of the smallest boxes I've ever received. Uh, it's fairly heavy but it's a fairly small box. Uh, and to be honest this is not my favorite design that they've ever done. I thought they were going towards less printing on the boxes to make it more eco-friendly. I don't know if this is still an eco-friendly way of um, printing or whatever, but for what it's worth, it's not really my favorite. You have a woman on a skateboard down there. And then on the inside, it has kind of like the silhouette of the same figure. Uh, if you do like the box, they can make good storage boxes, uh, but it does become a little complicated when the boxes vary in size from season to season, so it's a little harder to stack and that kind of thing. So I may just recycle this one. I haven't quite decided. Okay, so opening her up here. So I've had this for a few days, but I haven't actually like rooted around in it. Uh, so there is a magazine on top here. So they used to have someone kind of famous on the cover, but I think now it's just, you know, a model or whatever. So it's for spring 2022. And it says 10 ways to kickstart your happy, how to plan a weekend getaway, transform your tresses, and best day ever. So I'll just kind of flip through this to see if there's anything super interesting. Uh, so every quarter they partner with a different charity. Uh, and it looks like this one is ready to succeed. And I think it's a program that works with foster children perhaps. So it says there are more than 400,000 foster youth in America. Through no fault of their own, they don't have the same access to support or opportunities that their peers do. In fact, only 3% will graduate from college. Ready to Succeed is on a mission to break that cycle and we're proud to help by partnering with them this season. Uh, so, you know, that's always really nice to see. I think for the winter season, it was Toys for Tots and I don't remember what it was before that. Uh, so there's an editor's note. They used to have information about the various products, but they've uh, gotten rid of that and now they just have like a QR code so you can scan. I don't know if it's because of, you know, changes that they do last minute or what, uh, but you can't reference this anymore for the products. Uh, so yeah, so how to plan a weekend getaway. I would like to have one of those. Uh, serving looks is another uh, spread here. Uh, so this is interesting. So one thing I was going to talk about is that this One Size by Patrick Star palette, it's printed in the magazine, but I'm pretty sure that was a late addition to category one. So I didn't cover it in my What Will I Choose video because it wasn't something that they had posted yet. So I don't know if they were not sure if they would have enough stock or or what, but that's that's interesting. Uh, so this is about the makeup products and then we have um, skincare items that were in the box and hair care items talks about the hair clips and it has different ways to use it has a couple recipes here 
has very good French toast and Greek potato salad. Those both sound delicious. Good libations. So there's a sangria pitcher, a mocktail, and a French 75 recipe. Uh, so they had those, I think, bandeau glasses. So if you needed some inspiration for what to put in them. Uh, and then they have information about exclusive offers. So I don't think you have to be a FabFitFun subscriber to be able to use these. So if you go to any of these retailers and just put in the code, uh, you can, I think, get a discount. So uh, I, there is like a FabFitFun promotions page, which I will try to link. I don't know if you have to be logged in to be able to see it. Uh, but for example, the pharmacy discount code is PharmacyFab. You get 20% off site wide. And I'm pretty sure those codes will start to kind of circulate on, you know, the various apps and websites that track them at some point. Uh, checklist of membership perks, if you wanted to know more about that. So there's some like kind of exercises to, I guess, improve your like happiness. Like a Mad Lib. Okay, so I think that's all that's kind of interesting in there. Uh, and then on the top, I do like that their like packing paper is polka dotted. I just think it's kind of fun. Um, so I don't know, it's a nice touch. Okay, so I guess I will try to pull items out in order of category. So for choice one, I think I only got one item. I didn't get any additional choices. And I did buy one thing, I think, in the add-on store and they just packed it all in this box. So this box does have my shipping label on it. Um, if you purchase a lot of things in the add-ons, um, sometimes it will ship within a bigger box. So I got, ooh, that's not cool. I just pulled this out and it's kind of gunky. Looks like there was a slight um, issue there with, I don't know if it was the original manufacturer or what okay so it looks pretty full if it were like half empty I might let them know but so it has like a really kind of spa like soapy scent I can't say it's my favorite but I think I will be able to use this and I typically do use like a deep conditioner or conditioning mask in lieu of just a normal conditioner because um, I have like highlighted and wavy hair so it can handle a little bit more moisture so that's a little disappointing but I think you know I'll be able to clean it up and it'll be fine so to quickly go over the other items you could have gotten the L space cooler the caravan the Fenty gloss bomb uh, duo so it was the plumping formula in both hot cherry and lemon lava and uh, I did apply a Fenty Gloss Bomb in my What Will I Choose video. I think I used a different shade. Um, but today I did go with the original Fenty Glow. And um, one little trick, these aren't my favorite glosses. I prefer the Pat McGrath, but um, they do come out like a little gloopy. Um, so it's kind of easy to over apply. Let's zoom you in really quickly for this. So what I did today, and I'll just apply a little bit more here. Um, so I just kind of put some on and then used my finger to kind of spread it out so I didn't have like such a thick layer on. So that's something you could possibly try if you got this item or if you are thinking of subscribing. Uh, I will put my referral code down below. I think that will get you some money off uh, your first box if you do wish to um, sign up for it. Okay, so that was the Gloss Bomb. They also had either the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter or the Diamond Bomb. And um, I demoed and swatched some of the shades that I have. So I don't have the particular shades that they offered, um, but I just thought I would kind of demo the, the appearance. Um, so they had this kind of split pan where um, you get one more kind of subtle highlighter and one more kind of impactful one. Um, this is in the shade Mean Money and Hustla Baby. The one that they're offering is Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. I think Stephanie Marie got this product. So if you want to um, see it on her complexion, she's she's more, I guess, light to light medium maybe. Um, but I'm just going to take my Anastasia A23 and go into Hustla Baby. 
and just to kind of give you an idea of the glow this is maybe a touch deep for me uh, but we are going into summer so the diamond balm is a little bit more sparkly I think and again I have that in the shade how many carrots and they're offering it in the shade royal icing um, so yeah so check out my original video if you want to see some swatches and kind of get an idea of how the shade might look on you but I think the one that they're offering is deeper than Hustla Baby at least going by the swatches and uh, for like shades and everything I just applied the NARS light reflecting foundation in the shade light to Mont Blanc so just to kind of give you some idea of my skin tone and you know the highlighter and everything okay uh, so the other options there was the Morgan Lane robe in either navy floral or white floral. There was the Alice and Olivia daisy print duffel bag and bucket hat, and I showed that in my um, original video. So they did add another product like I mentioned, and that is the one size palette. Uh, and this is what I have uh, on my eyes today combined with some of the Fenty highlighters that I have. I don't love this palette, to be honest. And I think, uh, let me see here if it's still on sale on the Sephora website. So I think, you know, One Size, uh, which is Patrick Starr's brand, I think their complexion products are doing fairly well, but this eyeshadow palette launched a while ago. Uh, you can currently purchase this on the Sephora website for $21. It originally had a retail value of $42, so it's like half off. So it's not so surprising that might show up in like a subscription box. I would say if you are only interested in this palette out of everything, I would definitely recommend just purchasing it from Sephora and not subscribing to FabFitFun. Uh, just a couple things to go over. So um, the way that this is designed, it's actually kind of, it's at an angle. So you can see this little bit here, um, kind of, this is the like part of the palette where the pans are, the back of the palette, and then um, like the front bit here kind of hangs over. And from what I understand, Patrick did that so that if you have nails, um, apparently, uh, just, I need an ordinary palette here. Uh, apparently if you have super long nails, it is difficult if you just have like a normal cardboard palette like this to open it, which I guess I can see. I've never had nails that were that long. Um, so he designed it so that you had more of an overhang here and it would be, I guess, easier to open. I'm not sure if he's right-handed or left-handed, but I usually use my right hand, um, I am right-handed, to open palettes. And I, I don't know if I, I guess I normally go for like the corner maybe. I don't know, it's just, it's a different, different way of opening a palette. And I think I find it easiest, the way it's designed to open it with my left hand. So it just, it takes another kind of mental step to do that and just to kind of change up what I'm used to. So I just thought I would mention that. Uh, it does have a mirror. And then these are the shades. And um, there is some fun embossing in there, as you can see. The color story of this isn't my favorite. Um, it's, it's weird to me because if you cover up this like quadrant, um, I still have the box actually, because like I said, the bottom is at a slant and just, I don't know, I find it easier to store in the, in the box. Um, so if you cover up those four, you get a very warm neutral palette right so if you really like some greens there's just this one blue shade i might go ahead and swatch those for you um it's like i wouldn't mind playing with the greens i mean that could be a nice you know just two shadow look maybe throw in a few other neutrals to kind of complete it this blue it's actually like a sparkle shade i think so it has like like some micro shimmer in it and then this Rebel Gray. So those are the colorful shadows there. I'm sure there's quite a few kind of swatches and everything. So it has that. Um, I guess I'll describe what I did today. So 
Um, I do like that there is a really light matte cream shadow um, because it's basically like a skin tone shadow for me. So I, I do use an eye primer. I use the Fenty primer today. And I like to set the eye primer with either a light shadow like this or just like a setting powder. Um, so I like that. And then you have, you know, a couple of very like cool toned neutrals like this row up here. I think I used all three of these. And then uh, you have this kind of more warm shade here. Um, these are all pretty warm. I wish they had included like more of a light, like metallic. Um, I will swatch these other non-matte. So, you know, there is a tone difference here. They're all kind of the same depth, I think. There's more like a bronze, more of a rose gold, and more of a gold. Um, I used this kind of rose gold today. Um, and it is pretty, but um, I'd say you definitely can expect some fallout. Um, I'm timing my my rice on my watch here. Um, so like I showed you, I originally went in with a dry brush um, and then I went in with my finger um, because to build up the intensity, I just felt like it needed that. You can also try wetting a brush, which may help with the fallout. But yeah, when I went in with my finger, I definitely had some fallout. So um, after I kind of cleaned that up with some micellar water, I did apply some of these eye patches. So that can be a really good kind of dual purpose, you know, hydrate the under eyes while you're kind of catching any shadow that may fall down. So I would definitely recommend using this palette if you got it before doing your base because it's just a lot easier to clean up fallout. So it's not a terrible palette. I think you can create some pretty looks with it, but I, I think it's a little bit, disjointed maybe. I mean, you just have so many kind of warm neutrals and then, you know, just a couple of these colorful shades. So it's not my favorite color story. It's not my favorite formula. Packaging's not my favorite. You know, it, it's not terrible, but it's just not my favorite. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that. Okay, so that's it for choice one. So for choice two, I got the Pharmacy Honey Halo Moisturizer. This has a $45 value. And while I'm opening this, I could have also chosen the Paracone High Potency Face Finishing and Firming Moisturizer, the Bandeau Glasses, like I mentioned, the Caudalie Oil Control Moisturizer, uh, that Yoga app and acupressure Hello. I'm curious if any of you got that, what you think of it. There were also some fur slippers and then a Kate Spade um, wristlet. So uh, I showed a similar packaging from a pharmacy in my What Will I Choose video. Has a really fun little spatula with a magnet. And it does have a fairly strong honey scent, which is not my favorite. I don't think it really lingers. I mean, it just smells like natural honey. So it's not my favorite, but I did like the texture of this. I had like a sample that I went through. So uh, yeah, I'm currently finishing up the Skin Fix, uh, what is it called? Like the Barrier Plus Cream or whatever. I have like a little kind of travel size of that that I'm using up. Uh, so I will probably switch to this when I'm done. I definitely like the idea of a ceramide kind of heavy moisturizer. It says, it's an intense moisturizer that replenishes dry, de-stressed skin. Ceramides and honey help protect the skin's moisture barrier. Uh, so yeah, so I will be using this, I think, next. I do have dry skin, and during the winter, I have to be a little bit more conscious of, you know, what products I'm using and making sure that my skin is nice and hydrated because I can get some eczema um, on my face if I'm not careful. But I think I would enjoy that moisturizer year round on my skin type, especially at night. Okay, so choice three, what did I get? I got the Erin Condren Stationery Bundle. Um, so it looks like this. This has a 35 and 50 cent value, and this is pretty exciting. So it just came in like a plastic sleeve, and then they also have three markers, dual tip markers. Uh, let's get 
Let's take a look at these, shall we? So they are in the shades Peony, Seafoam, and Gray. So I'm going to um, show you this code anyway, so I might as well just write on it. So I think this is good for one person. It's a unique code for new customers purchasing a seasonal subscription. It's good through April 12th. Cannot be combined with other offers or a gift card. So I'll hold that up for you in a second. Um, but I just want to try out these markers. Have a very fine little tip there. So this is looking kind of more like a highlighter marker. Um, that's the pink. Maybe I'll do one on the white as well. Okay. So <laughs> there is my, my attempt at doodling. You can see the different colors there. And that is the code. It should be good for whoever uses it first. And if it's already been used, you can use my normal referral link. But looking back at this um, card collection, I guess, um, has a really pretty gold foil design. I think that's kind of a typical Erin Condren um, design that they have. And it's a hard box and let's see. Okay, so it, it like pulls off like this and then you get cards on the inside. Um, and actually it kind of comes down here so you can see a little bit better. And okay, so it looks like there's one packet of the envelopes and it says here, it's your birthday, it's just blank on the inside, uh, HBD, uh, let's see, also blank, it does have some nice foiling on that one. Happy birthday to my favorite person, that's kind of sweet. This is like pink with some stars on it, also blank on the inside. This one again says happy birthday. I'm going to be well stocked on birthday cards, which is good because I have two birthdays in the family coming up. Uh, this one is thanks, no foiling on this one. I think that's the first one without foiling. Uh, this one says I appreciate you, has some foiling. Nice, um, nice sentiment to send. Thank you so much. It's a really pretty kind of marble pattern with I think rose gold foiling. So it looks like some of these are gold foil and some are more rose gold maybe. Again, I think they're all blank on the inside. This one just says thanks. I think some of these are nice because they're a little bit more universal. Like you could pretty much send it to anyone. Um, this says congrats. Well done. Nice purple. Another congrats. This one says woohoo, hi, this is hello, cute. Another hello, and this one says hi there. So nice assortment of cards. I think the birthday cards are probably, you know, the most useful to me. Um, although I do have a pretty good backstock of birthday cards. Like I will kind of stock up basically whenever I'm placing an order from like a stationery store. Um, so yeah, so those are, I think, a really nice addition. Uh, I had purchased some Erin Condren planners and different supplies a while ago. There was a, there was a period, I think, when like, you know, the Erin Condren stickers and everything were super popular. I was kind of getting into it. I don't know if like bullet journaling has like kind of replaced that, but uh, anyway, yeah, so that was the only item from choice three. From choice four, I think I got three items. But the additional choice price for this category was only $7, so not terrible. But the first item I have, oh, okay. So it looks like some of the, the gunk from the mask got on this um, product. But again, that should be fairly easy to um, rinse off. Uh, so this is the It's a 10 Coily Miracle Leave-In product. This has a $25 value. Uh, so I think I said in my like what will I choose video. I've tried various products from It's a 10 before. I hadn't tried the coily one and my hair is, you know, kind of flat right now. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I do have a natural wave to it. So I thought I would just, you know, try it out, see how it goes. Uh, and then I also got, let's see, the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butter. And I think I purchased this based on people um, saying in their videos how amazing it was. So I thought I would try it. Um, it is sealed, but I just want to smell it. 
yeah, it has like a really nice, um, how do I describe it? It kind of reminds me of like a lemon sugar, I don't know, like a lemon drop martini or something. Like it's very sweet. Does it say sweet citrus? Yeah, so it's, so it is a sweet citrus. I think they, they pretty much nailed that. Um, yeah, that smells nice. So um, I'm still trying to finish up some other body butters that I have, but hopefully I'll be able to get to this, you know, at some point this summer um, as like, you know, a seasonally appropriate kind of scent. Although I think you could, you know, pretty much use it any time of year, it would be nice. Um, does feel, does feel nice and moisturizing. Okay, and then the other item I got, this is the Mantra Band Cuff Bracelet. And it says she believed she could, so she did. Um, so I'm not normally a big bracelet person. Um, I like that it's very like eco-friendly type packaging. And I think this is just like a stainless steel bracelet. So yeah, I'm not normally a big bracelet person because I just don't like them like moving around and stuff. Uh, but I do, you know, have like a beauty closet, I call it, where I um, try to switch out things seasonally. And coming up on March, um, it's Women's History Month, so I thought this would be a nice little thing to include. Um, it's a pretty, like, skinny cuff. So I think you could wear it and it wouldn't be super obvious, you know, that it's saying anything. And I think you just adjust it just by squeezing it. On my wrist, and I have pretty small wrists, I could probably get away with not adjusting it, but I think just to make it a little bit more secure, I would. So yeah, that is the bracelet that had a $25 value. Um, and that, for whatever reason, couldn't be shipped uh, to the UK along with that Josie Marin product. Okay, let's go on to choice five. So I think this was the first category that was exclusive to uh, annual members. Um, so I chose these hair clips. The other choices were the eye serum from Even Prime and oh, I did actually get a second item for this one. This was also an additional seven dollars. Uh, and then finally there was a Sorbus makeup organizer. Um, so I just caved and got the Earth Harbor Glow Juice Refining Enzyme Mask. This has red seaweed and fruit enzymes. Uh, of course, after I ordered this, I kind of decided to put myself on a little bit of like a skincare regimen, so I don't know if I will be using this anytime soon. But this says it's a fast-acting AHA BHA gel mask that naturally resurfaces and cools and hydrates and firms skin with red seaweed, fruit enzymes, white willow bark, and aloe leaf juice to reveal greater clarity, look of improved skin texture and tone, and a more youthful glow, all without irritating your skin. Um, so like I said, I can uh, suffer from eczema. Um, I just listened to a really great podcast. I think it's, is it the Breaking Beauty podcast? And they had, oh, what is his name? Uh, Sean Garrett. Uh, but yeah, anyway, he was a guest on the podcast and um, he, like I said, is kind of like a skincare influencer and he, um, I think he used to work at a spa, like an esthetician and stuff. Uh, so it was a really fascinating conversation. <laughs> Sorry for this little tangent here, but um, basically saying how a lot of people are like over stripping their skin and damaging their skin barrier through like aggressive use of like retinols and exfoliants and that kind of thing. So what I am trying to do and what he kind of recommended. So one day a week, I'm going to use a salicylic acid product. Uh, actually, I'm doing that tonight, which is Saturday. So it's going to be salicylic acid Saturday. And then uh, that is a BHA. Uh, and then on Mondays, I'm going to use a mandelic acid, which is an AHA. Uh, so BHAs kind of penetrate the pore a little bit deeper, uh, whereas AHAs kind of help to, I guess, remove the dead skin on the surface layer a little bit more. Uh, so Mondays are going to be mandelic acid Mondays because he um, really recommended the the ordinary mandelic acid, which is similar but more gentle than like lactic acid or uh, glycolic acid. So I'm going to make Mondays mandelic acid Mondays, and then I'm going to use a retinol product on Thursdays. So those are like my three nights of like actives and always going in with like moisturizer and I use like an essence or a toner. And then the other nights in the mornings, 
might throw in a vitamin C serum here and there, but mostly just focusing on like those really kind of replenishing ingredients like um, ceramides and that kind of thing. So that is what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit here. So I do like the idea of AHAs and BHAs, but you know, I'm just trying to kind of, you know, get my skin to a really good place. Okay, so anyway, so that was the Earth Harbor product. Uh, and then I also got these hair clips. So there is like a matte black and a like tortoise shell. I think these are supposed to have a $33 value, which I can see these like being on the, you know, shelf at Target or whatever. And I wouldn't spend $33 for them. But I'm just curious how they, how they go in the hair. So um, these, are both pretty strong. And I'll just go ahead and take my hair down. I have one of these like satin scrunchies. I think this was from Kristen S at Target. And then I put a headband in because I tried to do my hair, like I washed my hair this morning and then we went out and ran groceries. So I was trying to like dry it so it wouldn't be wet. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be a little bit easier to see. Okay, so I think that is definitely gonna be enough for my hair. Hopefully you can see that. And I don't know if you can tell how much hair I have, but you know. My ponytail is about that thickness, I guess. So I guess I can just, you know, throw this in for the rest of the video. Okay, so that was it for choice five and then choice six I think I got one item and then chose an additional so um, I did get the the hourglass blush in incandescent Electra and I actually did demo this in my earlier video because I had this um, blush palette that they had released during a holiday um, season many years ago uh, so I thought you know I might as well get the you know, full size. So I don't have any blush on yet. I do have bronzer, but I thought I would just show this to you on camera. And the thing about these blushes is, you know, depending on how it's marbled, you might get a slightly different effect. These both look fairly similar in terms of, um, you know, the ratio of the pigment to the kind of more highlighter product. Um, so I'm going to take my refer number five again, which is my favorite blush brush, and just apply some. And as you saw, I did apply highlighter, but these are, these are really gorgeous blushes to give you a little bit more glow on the cheek. So this was just, you know, one product. If you can choose what you want for category six, uh, you can either get one kind of more expensive product. This retails for $43, which is pretty hefty for a blush, uh, or you can uh, get multiple items. So the additional choice I made was for the Winky Lux Lip Oil which has really cute little packaging. And this also came with this London Town Cuticle Cream. So this together is supposed to have a $43 value, which is coincidentally the same as the blush. Um, it's not always the case. Some of these have, I guess, more or less of a value. Um, and this is taped shut. So I am curious about this. I thought this would be a good thing to throw in my purse because it's a little bit, you know, more contained. Uh, I do have like the kind of cuticle oil that, um, you know, you just have like a little nail polish type bottle and you brush it on. Um, this actually has like a silicone applicator, which is interesting. I thought it would be more like, uh, like those old school kind of steel lip glazes or whatever they were called, where it had like actual little brush fibers. Uh, okay. So it is like a white cream, it looks like, so you can kind of see it coming out. Okay, so it looks like there's like a little hole on one end that it comes out. <laughs> Sounds wrong. So I think this product will probably absorb faster than like an oil, which is, again, like I think a good thing if you're kind of out and about. 
and I usually carry hand cream in my bag and I have some in the car and stuff, but sometimes you just want a little bit extra. So yeah, so I think this is going to be a useful product. It's not something I probably would have gone out of my way to purchase, but um, I think it'll be, it'll be nice. So this has probiotics, which is interesting. Water, glycerin, has dimethicone, shea butter, yeah. So anyway, happy about that. And then the other item, this lip oil called In the Stars. It's a really fun design there. Love the packaging actually. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's kind of a gimmicky to have, you know, these stars and the gold and everything, but I just thought it was pretty. I'll wipe off some of this Fenty. It has a smell, but I can't, I can't quite place it. I think there's some really fine like flecks of glitter and shimmer that are coming out. Okay. Uh, and let's see if the ingredients reveal anything. It says high shine, glossy finish, keeps lips hydrated and nourished with avocado, sunflower, olive, and jojoba oils. So it does have aroma or flavor probably looked at the ingredients before I picked it, but um, to be honest, it was cute enough that I might not have. Uh, I don't see peppermint oil, which is usually my kind of chief um, concern. So it's made in Canada, has squalane. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, it looks really nice. So, all right, so I did get one refill item. Uh, <laughs> seem to have a skincare problem recently. Um, so I got the new company, The Pill Multi-Action Facial Serum. I think this also might be in the Ipsy store, like their flash sale site. So if you're subscribed to Ipsy and you missed out on this, you might wanna check that out. Um, I forget how much this was. Okay, so this was $19. And I think it has like an 80 or $90 value or something like that. Uh, this is, it says it's a single daily dose of high potency actives designed to gently exfoliate the skin, help support cell regeneration, and hydrate and depuff the skin. So it says it's a topical supplement using caffeine, AHAs, vitamin C, and hyaluronic acid. Okay, so it says everything your skin needs in a single daily dose, the whole like kind of vitamin or supplement um, marketing here. So it says skin soothing, it has bilberry, caffeine, and isoamyl laurate. It's exfoliating and resurfacing, so it has glycolic acid, tiger grass, and GA, whatever that is. And then for hydration, it has hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, and sodium PCA. And this is made in the USA using globally sourced ingredients. So yeah, so I don't know, it just, it looked interesting to me, of course, now, like I said, I'm trying to kind of dial my skincare routine it back a little bit. Uh, it does have very kind of aesthetic packaging with a pump, and yeah, I'm pretty sure this is glass packaging. So I'll add it to my collection of serums and that kind of thing. But yeah, got that. And then of course, uh, I also got one more skincare product. This is the Herbivore Cloud Jelly. This was in the add-on store, it was $16. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. So it says these are dreamy drops for more youthful looking hydrated skin. It's a plush hydrating serum that helps dry dehydrated skin bounce back with truly natural ingredients. Superfood enriched hydrating drops plump and improve the appearance of fine lines for healthier looking skin. So, okay, so it has tremella mushroom vegan collagen, strawberry extract, which is rich in antioxidants, including vitamin C, beta carotene, and polyphenolics. What else do you have? Water, aloe leaf juice, glycerin, rose damascena flower water. So if you have a sensitivity to rose fragrance or ingredients, you probably wanna skip out. Yeah, so again, I just kinda of decided to take a chance on this. Uh, I do have their cloud jelly cleanser and I've really enjoyed that. So this is in like a dropper bottle. It's like that light pink. Hopefully this falls more into the hydrating serum category and I can include it on like a non-active day. I don't think I'm smelling anything. I 
don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, I don't think it really smells like much. So yeah, so hopefully that's just like a nice kind of hydrating serum. Uh, and then the last item here. Oh, I got stickers. Yay. Make sure to um, check your boxes to see if you got stickers. Um, I actually do keep these like in my planner and these are really fun. So um, they have like a peace sign, rainbow, skateboard, spring 2022. It says let the good times roll. That would be really cute for uh, Mardi Gras, which is coming up at the beginning of March. So love that they included these. Uh, and then there's also, I think this was, I forget if this was a freebie with the add-on. I can't remember. Um, this is something I've gotten before, I think. Uh, and it's the Heineken 0% alcohol beer. Uh, I did taste test this with my husband before. And to be honest, I wouldn't drink this as a beverage because I don't think it is worth it. <laughs> um, it's not worth the calories for me, but um, I do make no need bread from time to time. I use the like Cook's Illustrated recipe, which is technically called almost no need bread. Um, and they include some beer in it to give it more flavor and depth and everything. So uh, I can definitely use it for that and, you know, not have to crack open and use a normal beer. Um, so anyway, yeah, that is it for my spring 2022 Fun. Uh, in general, I am a lot happier with this box than I was last spring. I think last spring they just had like so many daisy themed products and I just, I don't know, wasn't really vibing with some of them, but uh, yeah, I am, I am pretty darn happy. And like I said, the, the serums were additional costs. Um, and I did pick some additional items here and there, but, um, I think I definitely got my money's worth and, you know, even if I'm paying additional money, it would be less than buying those items at full retail. So, and I am quite excited about the stickers. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.